Welcome back to part two of this series. In part one, we ended up combining all the resistors into a single resistor, which we called RC. We found its total resistance and its current using Ohm's law. And with that being said, using the resistance and current of RC, remember that RC is a combination of RA and RB. So focusing in on RA, we found out that its resistance was 12.606. So using Ohm's law again, voltage is equal to I R. I'll take the current that is flowing through RC, which we found to be 1.231, 1.231, and I'll multiply it by the resistance of RA, which I found earlier to be 12.606, 12.606. ,606. And this will tell me the voltage reading at RA. And I'll explain why that's important in a moment. So the value on our screen times 12.606 makes 15.528. 15.528 is the voltage at RA. Remember, the voltage at the power source was 27. And the reading at RA is 15.528. That means there's a drop of roughly 11.471 volts after passing through this part of the circuit. Just keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that RA consists of R1 and R2. The voltage reading across these two combined is 15.528. And because they are parallel, that means the voltage of R1 and R2 will be 15.528. Let me go ahead and write that down. And this time I will round to the nearest tenth or one digit after the decimal place. I have 15.5 for R1 and the same for R2. Now remember, RA is composed of R1 and R2. Using Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, I know their voltage, both of them will be 15.528. Their current is what we don't know. Their resistance, is given in the question as 21.2, 21.2, and we can actually solve for current by dividing both sides by 21.2. So taking the value of 15.528 and dividing it by 21.2 gives us an answer of 0 0.732. 0 0.732 is the current at R1. 0 0.732. At R2, using the same approach, V is equal to IR, I know that its voltage will be 15.528. The current is what we're looking for, and the resistance was given in the question as 31.1. 31.1. Now dividing these two numbers out, and we get a current of 0 0.496. I is equal to 0 0.496 amperes. Notice something that's very interesting here. When you add up these two values, you end up with the current that we found earlier as 1.231. And there's a reason for this. The current law says that the sum of the currents flowing into any node is equal to the sum of current flowing out. So if 1.2 amperes is flowing into this node, then the same value should be flowing out through here. And this is why when you add them up, you get the same as what you started with. Okay, let's use this exact same approach now for RB, which consisted of R3 and R4. RB, we found, had a resistance of 9.313. So let me write down this information. V is equal to IR. The voltage, this one is interesting. We can't use 27 volts anymore because there is a voltage drop after we go through RA. And that applies to the voltage law. Where in a closed loop, the sum of the voltage that drops across a resistor must be the same as the voltage source applied to that circuit. What this means is that the voltage for RB will be 27 minus the reading at RA, which was 15.528. You can do it this way, or you can do it systematically by simply taking the resistance of 9.313, 
which we found earlier, and multiplying it to the current, which we found earlier as well, which is 1.231, 1.231. So subtracting 15.528 from 27 should be technically the same as multiplying these two out. 1.231 times 9.313 and we get 11.464, 11.464 volts. Believe me, this would be the same if we were to subtract these two values. And again, that is expected because the total volts, which was 27, is equal to all of the voltages combined, which would be the voltage at RA, which I'll call VA, and the voltage at RB, which I'll call VB. Anyway, let's continue. Remember RB, if we look back, consisted of R3 and R4. The voltage of 11.464 will be the voltage for both R3 and R4 because they are in parallel. Let me write that down. 11.464 rounds to 11.5. 11.5 and 11.5. Now using the same strategy as before, let me write down R3 and R4. V is equal to IR, remember that, that's Ohm's law. The voltage is 11.464, and we're looking for the current. We know their resistance, it was given in the question, 12.9 and 33.5. Okay, all we have to do now is solve for I in both of these equations. 11.464 divided by 12.9, and that makes 0 0.888. 0 0.888 is the current at R3. And the current at R4, 11.464 divided by 33.5. And that makes 0 0.342. 0 0.342 is the current. And that's in amperes. Again, if you were to add these two values up, this one and this one, you should end up with... 1.231, which was the current at the very beginning for RC. Now we write these in to our table and we are done. And so there you have it. We have officially solved this circuit and have decoded its voltage and current across each resistor. Thank you for watching.